Hello friends, welcome back to our channel and today we will start with updates on SpaceX Starbase developments, followed by Northrop Grumman official comment on Starship and we will wrap up with a recent update on Falcon Heavy launches from a SpaceX official. Let's get started with recent developments at SpaceX Starbase in Boca Chica and also Florida. Just after completing the six engine static fire of Ship 24 a few days back, SpaceX continues to ramp up their Starbase progression for readying both ship and booster for upcoming orbital test flight. We know last week after the 8th of September, SpaceX teams carried out six engine tests on Ship 24. On the same day, they also carried out a 33 engine spin prime test of Booster 7. But prior to that spin prime test, engine number 7 of Booster core engines was replaced. A similar engine replacement was done to Ship 24 prior to static fire. That 33 engine spin prime test of Booster 7 was the second important test of the day after Ship 24 static fire. Later, on the 12th of September 2022, SpaceX teams carried out another 33 engine spin prime test of Booster 7, almost identical to the 8th of September test. Report says that those tests were not unexpected and it serves as major steps towards the orbital flight test. And SpaceX teams will need to carry out similar tests further in the future in order to gather sufficient data and qualify the booster for 33 engine static fire and orbital flight. Earlier, a similar attempt in July had triggered an explosion. After that event, SpaceX teams reworked on engine chill-down procedures and developed a new engine chill system. This new system, till now, proved well and good during September 8th and September 12th spin prime tests. But until now, it's not known whether SpaceX is going to use that system for orbital test launch too or not. According to reports, Starbase's orbital launch site is undergoing an upgrade of the water deluge system. In the new system, the root of the structure connects to the iron water pipes that lead to the orbital launch mount from one of its legs. But it remains a question whether this upgrade will lead to delay in the next phase of Booster 7 or not. As for now, tests on B7 will continue until static fire attempt, while slowly maturing its software and hardware for orbital flight test. After successful completion of one or two 33 engine static fire tests, it's expected that Ship 24 will then be stacked on top of Booster 7 for combined tests. Those tests will consist of launch countdown simulations, wet dress rehearsals, as well as another 33 engine static fire test. While preparations on B7 and Ship 24 are on the way, SpaceX teams have also prepared B8 for cryo tests within a month. On the 12th of September, they stacked the primary structure of Ship 25, while works on Ship 26 and Ship 27 are going on in a different manner. Both Ship 26 and 27 omitted installation of thermal protection tiles and aerodynamic flaps. At SpaceX's Starship factory in Florida, SpaceX has almost completed the Starship launch tower and the tank farm. Report says that the last tower section is now waiting at Launch Complex 39A for lift and installation. Moreover, works on robotic arms, quick disconnect, and carriage system are near completion and very soon, those parts will be rolled out to the pad for installation. Let's move on to our next update where a Northrop Grumman official shares his views on SpaceX Starship. On the 14th of September at the annual World Satellite Business Week conference, Rob Houge, president of Northrop Grumman subsidiary Space Logistics, said that, We're working with SpaceX. Starship is going to be an awesome capability. He also said, Starship will be helpful, but still SpaceX has yet to reach orbit with their prototype version of the gigantic spacecraft. Space Logistics is known for developing Mission Extension Vehicle MEV, a robotic spacecraft that extends the life of existing customer satellites in orbit. 
Most of the customers of this MEV service have satellites in geosynchronous orbit. As we know, Space Logistics has already successfully docked its spacecraft with customer satellites two times. Presently, they are planning to expand the service, and for this, they have made launch agreements with SpaceX to deploy these MEV spacecrafts to the planned orbit. While putting light on the agreement with SpaceX, Houge said, There's still a lot of work to do. We need to see a mature launch vehicle. Starship is not there yet. He also said, In order for Starship to get to GEO, they're planning to do refueling of the rocket in orbit, which hasn't been done yet. We're going to make sure this capability works, which means all the way down, to making sure the rocket we're going to go on is going to work. We'll wrap up with SpaceX to conduct six Falcon Heavy launches in the upcoming 12 months, according to a SpaceX official. Recently, a SpaceX sales executive stated that they'll launch a Falcon Heavy about six times in the upcoming 12 months. According to reports at the 2022 World Satellite Business Week, SpaceX Vice President of Commercial Sales Tom Ochenero stated that Trying to get to a little over 60 launches this year and 100 next year includes six Falcon Heavy launches in the next 12 months. After passing through years of delays, SpaceX is now waiting for a perfect time to carry on with their Falcon Heavy launches. With having a number of launch contracts in hand for Falcon Heavy, presently the vehicle sits at 11 launches. Out of those 11 launches, NASA has booked almost six Falcon Heavy launches with a possibility of opting for a further two launches. Other than these, SpaceX has two commercial satellite launches and three U.S. military mission launches finalized. Despite having a good number of launch contracts for Falcon Heavy, SpaceX had successfully developed and qualified a large number of Falcon Heavy hardware for those missions without any problem. Though preparations for the spacecraft have been done well beforehand, Extreme delays in payload readiness has made the launch impossible. Presently, SpaceX has kept all of their seven Falcon Heavy boosters at store, but with this recent update from Ochenero, we may hope that the delays will finally come to an end. As per sources, SpaceX teams have recently planned to move up the USS F-44 mission aboard Falcon Heavy from late 2022 or early 2023 to October 2023 Reports further state that Viasat-3 and USSF-67 launch may also take place later this year. According to sources, for both the USSF-44 and Viasat-3 mission, Falcon Heavy will have to launch the payloads directly into geostationary orbit, and this will be a type of mission that SpaceX is going to attempt for the first time. For these launches, SpaceX will have to intentionally expend one of Falcon Heavy's three boosters during each launch. To carry out the mission successfully, Falcon Heavy upper stage will need to go through an almost six-hour coast phase, then igniting the second stage engines for a long burn to place its orbit nearly 36,000 kilometers above Earth's surface. Keeping enough fuel in the second stage for such a long burn is not an easy task, but still, SpaceX is well known for overcoming challenges, and we hope that they can cope with this task too. Still, which Falcon Heavy mission is the first to come? This remains a question. According to some other reports, keeping an overview on most recent upcoming Falcon Heavy missions, it's assumed that SpaceX may not head for launch in 2022 until it's visible that they've rolled out a fully assembled vehicle to the launch pad. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this. Hit the like button if you find the video interesting and kindly provide your valuable feedback in the comment section. This will help us to improve.